The analysis of irregular shaped structures, diaphragms and shear walls, was first published in 2011. The first edition contained valuable technical information on the analysis and design of structures with complex diaphragms and shear walls that was previously not available in one source. The first edition was highly acclaimed and received very positive reviews. I'm Robert Rice, co-author, and I would like to present a brief overview of a new second edition of this valuable book which is now available. This second edition contains many updated sections including new material addressing cross-laminated timber design and a new method of force transfer around openings and shear walls. Residential and commercial buildings have become more complex than structures built only a few decades ago. To create architecturally appealing structures, horizontal and vertical offsets in the diaphragms, multiple reentrant corners, multiple irregularities, and fewer vertical lateral force resisting elements have become commonplace. The structural configurations of many modern buildings require very complex lateral load paths. Most texts and publications currently available only address simple rectangular diaphragms and shear walls. Methods and examples of analysis for these simpler diaphragms and shear walls do not easily adapt to complex diaphragms and shear wall layouts in irregular shaped structures. Calculating the forces that are to be transferred around multiple discontinuities and detailing the design requirements on the construction documents can be very challenging and time consuming. Innovations in wood construction have also introduced cross-laminated timber, or CLT, into roof, floor, and wall construction. While basic load path analysis is independent of the material used, the use of CLT in lateral force resisting diaphragms and shear walls brings in new design considerations for practicing engineers. The purpose of this publication is to consolidate valuable information into one source to provide a comprehensive coverage of the analysis of modern irregular shaped structures, including numerous step-by-step -step examples, and to bring it to the forefront of the engineering and code official communities. The secondary objective is to demonstrate how to achieve the necessary complete lateral load pass through shear wall and diaphragm discontinuities. The complex diaphragm, shear wall, and load path issues addressed in this book are representative of today's demand on design professionals and code officials. Most of the examples in this book are based on light wood frame construction using diaphragms that can be idealized as flexible. However, as mentioned, the second edition also includes new chapters that address lateral force resisting systems using cross laminated timber. The information presented in this book is intended to serve as a guideline for recognizing irregularities and developing the procedures necessary to resolve the forces along complicated load paths. The examples provide a progressive coverage of basic to very complex illustrations of load paths in these complicated structures. The benefits of the methods presented herein allow creation of complete lateral load paths where none appear to be possible. The methods and examples included are intended to provide the design professional with reasonable and rational analytical tools that can be used to solve complex problems, but are not intended to represent the only methods available. Since our first edition, significant updates have been added to improve the content of the book, including code references have been updated to the 2021 IBC, 2021 Structural Design Provisions for Wind and Seismic, ASCE 716, and the 2018 NDS. Chapter 6 has been updated to provide the latest approach to analyzing an open front cantilever diaphragm. Two new chapters have been added addressing CLT diaphragms and shear walls. A new method of analysis that has been developed by the authors for force transfer around openings and shear walls. And an online solutions manual is available for the problems located at the ends of the chapters. The content of the book is especially useful for engineers, architects, students of higher learning, building officials, plans examiners, and building inspectors. A brief summary of the table of contents and samples of the illustrations from each chapter in the following slides show the wide variety of topics that are covered. 
Chapter 1 covers relevant code sections regarding complete load paths, wind and seismic provisions, and basic methods of lateral analysis. Topics in Chapter 1 include the relevant code sections, demonstration of complete load paths, and methods of analysis. Chapter 2 covers load distribution into a diaphragm, diaphragm boundary elements, drag struts and collectors, cord and strut discontinuities, introduction into transfer diaphragms, and introduction into transfer areas. Chapter 3 covers method of analysis for complex diaphragms, development of member forces, single offset diaphragms, and diaphragms with offsets at both ends. Chapter 4 covers intermediate offset transverse loading, intermediate offset longitudinal loading, and diaphragms with offsets at the end of the wall. Chapter 5 shows how to analyze a diaphragm with large openings, which includes single and double openings, and how to calculate diaphragm deflection. Chapter 6 has been significantly revised to include state-of-the-art cantilever diaphragm open front design and includes corridor shear walls only, an open front one or both sides, irregular shaped cantilever diaphragms, and a cantilever diaphragm with a backspan. Chapter 7 has been significantly revised to provide a clearer understanding of how to design diaphragms with vertical offsets and includes method of analysis, single vertical offset and diaphragm, multiple vertical offsets and diaphragm, and alternate configurations. Chapter 8 has been slightly modified but now also addresses multifamily projects with horizontal offsets and includes loads and load paths, complex diaphragms transverse analysis, complex diaphragms longitudinal analysis, alternate layouts, and multifamily projects. Chapter 9 includes shear wall basics, standard walls, hold down anchors and boundary members, shear wall aspect ratios and reduction factors, shear wall rigidity and nominal shear wall stiffness, slope shear walls, and interior shear wall load paths. Chapter 10 has been significantly revised and extended to include our new method of force transfer around opening analysis, which allows multiple openings of different depths and the addition of dead loads. It also addresses shear walls with small openings. Topics include perforated shear walls, shear walls with force transfer around opening, shear walls with openings, the cantilever method. Chapter 11 addresses in-plane offset and vertically discontinuous shear walls and now includes discussions on two-stage analysis podium structures. Chapter 12 covers out-of-plane offset shear walls, offset walls in the same line of lateral force resistance, a detailed discussion on interior offset shear walls, and offset shear walls at exterior wall lines. Chapter 13 covers portal frames and includes testing and research, foundation issues, and alternate frame systems. Chapter 14 of the first edition has been replaced with a new chapter on CLT diaphragm analysis. This chapter covers requirements of the 2021 edition of the special design provisions for wind and seismic, connection detailing, boundary element detailing, addressing irregularities in CLT diaphragms, and diaphragm stiffness and deflections. Chapter 15 is completely new and addresses CLT shear walls including seismically detailed platform frame CLT shear walls, seismically detailed balloon frame CLT shear walls, CLT rocking wall systems, hybrid CLT shear wall systems, shear walls with resistance provided by high aspect ratios, and load path connections at panels only. There are many reasons for purchasing this book. It covers practical lateral design applications for day-to-day -day wood engineering practice. It is perfect for the graduate entering private practice. It is a single source reference for the design of complex wood diaphragms and shear walls with relevant code sections. It is a complete coverage on the development of complicated lateral load paths. 
It includes 36 complete step-by-step -step design examples. There is an available online solutions manual covering the 23 problems located at the ends of the chapters, and it is a perfect reference for graduate studies. Books are available from many McGraw-Hill approved vendors, including Amazon.com and the International Code Council. Thank you for watching this overview and for your interest in this book.